Hello friends, welcome to Quick Maths in English. And in this video, we will do these kind of questions. Uh, have a look at these questions. Uh, you know, you must have heard of this question that uh, there are some people in party and each person handshakes with every other person. So how many handshakes will be there? Or these kind of questions like these many teams are in the tournament and uh, each team plays match with every other team. So how many total number of matches will be there? Okay. Or, uh, you know, there are some people in office. They all say hello to each other. So how many times would you hear this word hello? And uh, these kind of questions, this is very important question. Uh, so many In so many exams, this question has been asked uh, that uh, there are some students in a farewell party and they give autograph to each other. So how many autographs will be there? Total number of autographs. Okay. Then we have these questions. So we will do uh, a few questions and um, I'll tell you shortcut tricks to do these questions. Okay. And at the end of this topic, there are some questions for homework as well. So let's start. First of all, there are 20 people in a party. Each person shakes hand with, with every other person. How many handshakes will be there? Okay. I'm going to solve this question using two methods. First method, see, there are 20 people in the part. These are 20 people. Okay. For example, these are 20 dots. This people, this person comes and he shakes hand with, with every other person. Okay. Obviously, how many handshakes will be there in the first round? 19 handshakes. Now, this person has shook his hand. So, he will move away. Now, we have this person. Since this person has already shook his hand with this guy, so he will not come back here. Okay. Now, this person will, will shake hand with this, with this, with this, with this. Okay. So, there will be total 18 handshakes. Then, the next comes, there will be 17 handshakes then 16 and it will go on up to 1. So basically we have to add all these. So how to add these? Simply 19 into 20 divided by 2. If you know how to add answer is 190. Okay. If you know how to divide, how to add these. So it's very easy. If you know how to add these, you can just use pick up you know you can just start adding them 19 plus 18 then plus 17 but of course it will take time so this is how it's done but i'm going to tell you a very simpler way see in this the the answer is 20 c2 c for combination so 20 c2 but if you don't know what this is don't worry 20 c2 is 20 into 19 upon 2 okay again if you don't understand what this thing is just don't worry i'm just erasing it from here so what you should do there are 20 people so you have to write 20 one less than this that is 19 and divided by 2 and it is your answer 190 understand for example if there are 10 people in the party okay and they handshake with each other so what you should do write 10 then one less than this and divide it by 2 and answer is 45 okay so basically you can say that the formula goes n into n minus 1 divided by 2 and what is this n number of people okay you can apply this formula and you will have your answer now things are very easy from now on this question there are 12 teams and each team plays when you know there are teams each team plays match with every other team you know this thing is called round robin playing match with every other team this thing is called round robin if you are aware of indian premier league so they play matches on the basis of double round robin so first all the team play match with every other team okay then in thus they repeat in the same then they repeat the same thing but since they do it twice, that's why that's called double round robin. And it is simple round robin. So we call it round robin. Just keep this term is mind, in mind, okay? So how it's done? 12 teams play match with each other, with one another. So how many total number of matches will be there? Just write 12 into 1 less than this and divide by 2. Just cancel it and answer is 66. Clear? 
and if it is double round robin we multiply it by 2 for the final answer but it is not like that 66 our answer question next question is uh, is a little different than the previous question in what aspect it is different see the question is there are 10 people and they all say hello to one another how many times would you hear this word hello now that is this is one guy this is another guy if this person shakes hand with this person how many handshakes will be there this is only one handshake in one encounter there is one handshake but if they have to say hello he will say hello then this guy will say hello how many hello did you hear you heard two hellos okay what does this mean this means that the answer you get here is just double of what you used to get in the previous questions got it now the so how it's done simply in the last question we had divided by 2 but we are not gonna divide it by 2 here so the answer is 10 into 9 okay why if you divide it by 2 you have to multiply it by 2 because it is just double it will be cancelled so simply take this and one less than this and your answer is 90 okay so this is the difference between uh, saying hello and uh, uh, you know uh, shaking hand if we had the question like how many handshakes will be there so there would have been 45 handshake handshakes but it is a different thing here there are 30 students in a farewell party and all give autographs to one another how many autographs will be there there are 30 students in the party okay so and we they are exchanging autographs so this person gives autograph to this and this person gives autographs to this means in one encounter there are two autographs so the answer similarly we will do this 30 into 29 we are not going to divide it by 2 now and the answer is 870 you got it if we have like 20 question uh, sorry if we have 20 students in a farewell party and they all exchange autographs so the answer will be 20 into 19 and that is 380 got it okay now these questions are just opposite to what we have been doing in this number of handshakes are given but we don't know how many people are there that's our question now there are some people in a hall they all shake hands with one another total number of handshakes are this how many people you know what is the formula for number of handshakes if you remember this n to n1 upon 2 okay it is 105 so write 105 here total number of handshakes now cross multiplication n into n minus 1 gives 210 okay now it is a very important step break this into two part in such a way that the difference is one difference is one means suppose that you have to break six in two parts so that the difference is one so it will be two into three because the difference of two and three is one that is what i mean okay if you have for example if you have um, uh, 90 and you have to break 19 two parts in such a way that the difference is 1 so it will be 10 into 9 because the difference is 1 okay so now here and the answer is 14 in and 15 because 14 to 15 is 210 and the difference is 1 and how did I get 14 and 15 you just have to just have to uh, you know uh, figure out it 210 it can't be 10 into 21 of course just uh, just you know uh, you have to use hit and trial method or even better if you can do prime factorization see it is 210 so this 0 will give us 2 into 5 and then 21 21 3 into 7 okay so 2 into 4 7 is 14 and 3 into 5 is 15 and difference is 1 understand basically the bottom line is n into n minus 1 we got 14 into 15 our answer is the bigger digit that bigger number that is 15 so total 15 people are there okay because n minus 1 is smaller so n minus 1 is 14 that will also give us 15 next question there are some people in party they all exchange autographs with each other and, and we have these many autographs 
so how many students are there in the party again this is you know that kind of question uh, suppose that the question is there are some students in a, a party and uh, they all exchange autographs and there are 90 autographs so how many students are there so you know what is the formula for number of autographs n into n minus 1 in this we don't divide it by 2 so n into n minus 1 is 90 so 9 break 90 in two parts such that their difference is 1 so that will be 9 and 10 n n minus 1 is 10 into 9 and the answer is the bigger number bigger of these two that is 10 answer is 10 okay similarly we have n into n minus 1 and that is 1560 fine now you have to break this in two parts such that the difference is 1 and that is 40 into 39 n into 1 n minus 1 okay and the answer is the bigger number so n is 40 now you must be thinking sir how can we do it it's gonna take too much the best thing is that in exam you will have options okay so suppose that for this question options are 38 39 40 and 41 okay if you know what is the formula for number of autographs we take the number and we multiply with one less than this and you know if you multiply these number you can never ever get this number you don't even have to multiply 8 7 is 56 you can never get this number so just it is ruled out then now let's talk about this pick this 39 multiply by one less than this again you can never get this number rule this out then we have 40 multiply by one less than this that is 39 and yes in this case you can get this number so this is our answer okay fine i think this is the easier way but i again i want you to try that method as well and practice that method as well okay see in the end there are some these are some practice problems i want you to give them try and write your answer in comment section if you have any doubt related to this topic please do ask me and i'll definitely answer to your question and uh, if you have any question if you uh, find any question difficult in your book anywhere you can just write that question and i'll again i'll try to help you okay and um, in return i just want you to subscribe to this channel and share this video if if you want to otherwise that's fine take care god bless you